Hello everyone and welcome to this introduction of Mask Tools version 1.8. Now Mask Tools has grown a lot over previous versions, but I'm excited to say that version 1.8 has the most new features and nodes of any of the previous updates. The most exciting of which is Mask Tools new landscape node and landscape preset. This allows you to easily generate landscapes and customize them regarding their scale and height and various other ways, which gives you an infinite number of possibilities. There are also built-in masks which help you to separate the ground from the peaks, and various other masks as well. In addition to that, there are easy-to-use displacement and bump settings, which are perfect for whether you're creating highly detailed environments or low-poly game environments. Next is the addition of the distortion filters. These replace the old distortion nodes in previous versions. Now you can plug any one of these nodes directly into the mask base node, which has a new input called distortion filter. This makes painting grunge elements on your models way more convenient and easier to use than ever. I'm also excited to bring back the mask mix node, which has been gone for the past few versions, but now it's back and it's shader based. This means you can now mix your complex materials with Blender's other available shaders, such as glass or subsurface scatter, all the while keeping a very organized and neat node setup. Next, we have the border mask node, which allows you to create even more complex materials and even allows you to paint two materials at once. There are many other improvements to version 1.8 as well. The material shaders are now all procedural, which reduces the file size of mask tools by something like 300 megabytes. There are new displacement settings, which makes it even easier to turn low poly objects into highly detailed models. Finally, the cavity mask has its own node, and there's a mask edit node that allows you to combine masks. You can get version 1.8 right now on the Blender market. If you've already purchased mask tools, it's free to update. I'll leave a link below where you can find it. Thanks for watching.